Hi guys, welcome to Justin's Reads and on today's episode we are talking about a book by Mensa Otabil. The book is titled Endurance. So the man is basically talking about a person's ability or capacity to last, a person's uh, um, ability to withstand pressure, you know, and he explains the fact that it is he that endures that last. It is he that uh, endures, that is able to achieve whatever he has uh, determined in his heart to achieve. And... Um, your endurance basically is um, your capacity to withstand pressure, to be able to keep on keeping on irrespective of the circumstances that you are surrounded with. So Mr. Otabu spoke about five things that um, basically each and every individual has to contend with in order to become. In their journey of becoming, there are five things that each and every person uh, most of the time, more often than not, has to contend with in order to achieve, to realize their dreams, in order to become in everything or in uh, whatever they have set their uh, uh, minds to do. Number one, he spoke about enduring hardness, as the Bible uh, talks about uh, uh, enduring hardness as a fellow soldier. He, he, uh, he actually wrote a scripture uh, um, that he caught him from the Bible that talks about everyone that is enlisted in the war. He said he doesn't have time to be entangled. Yes, entanglement with uh, civilian affairs. He doesn't have the time to be entangled with things uh, of life because he has to please the person that enlisted him. So he said um, life is a call to... Uh, um, to have a militant mindset. We are called to have a militant mindset. What does a militant mindset do? It um, keeps on doing whatever it uh, needs to be done without actually uh, uh, giving uh, heed to feelings. You don't look at your feelings in order to look at, to determine how far you're going. In order to do, in order for you to keep, uh, um, to achieve your dreams, you're not... Uh, um, you are not rude. Your feelings are not dictating the pace, are not dictating how far you can go. You have a militant spirit. You know, as a soldier, if they say you are going to war right now, you're, you're going to have to be killing people. You put your feelings aside. You keep on doing what you have to do until you achieve, you conquer in that war. So that's the kind of militant spirit that we are all called, we are all called into in order for us to achieve whatever we want to achieve. Number two, he talks about hostility. Being resisted, being, whether by the circumstances, by the people, whatever, in, when, you, when you're trying to achieve something, you are bound to be resisted by circumstances. There are things, there are materials, there are resources, there are situations, there are conditions, there are people that may resist you, that like have that that may have that hostility against your plans, against whatever you want to achieve. But you say that shouldn't um, that shouldn't deter you, you know. If you are living in this life, you should know that uh, no matter how nice you are, no matter how gentle you are, you know, no matter what kind of your personality you have, you, you are going to be resisted at some point if people think that whatever you're doing is a uh, 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 detriment to their plans of their purposes they will resist you if people think that you are a challenge to them you are you are a threat to them they will resist you and uh i always remember a story uh back then when i was working working in a, a certain organization uh actually something happened and um from that thing that happened i could tell that no this person doesn't like me. And I was taken aback at that time. I was a bit naive. I was just thinking, like, you mean to say there is someone that will not like Justin? Like, we just say, like, I don't like Justin. Like, Justin, like, why? Why would you not like me? You know? Like, at that stage, I I, I didn't understand it. It didn't, it, it didn't, uh, it didn't make sense that anyone in his right mind would not like me at that stage so but as i grew up i i have come to understand that you can be resisted no matter what kind of a person you are it doesn't matter so that's uh that's number two you have to uh content with hostility number three is delay he said there's nobody 
that uh, wants delay everywhere especially with the kind of world where you're living in now where everything is very fast very fast you know in between you achieving your d dream and uh, now this the, the place where you are right now and uh, where you are going where you want to be in between there could be delays you know that's where you have to keep on keeping on that's where you have to display your endurance you say nobody wants delay but it's sometimes it's part of the equation of where you are going not everything is might actually happen now as you want it to happen so you have to endure you have to keep on keeping on that's what he was explaining and um number four he spoke about temptation he said um these are distractions is um the 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 interesting part about temptations are are that mostly it's things that are coming from within the temptations are the things that are, are the circumstances that are rising from within that are being attracted because of the things that are from within already so you could be tempted to stop at a certain point you could be tempted to go uh, towards a certain direction at a certain point you could be tempted to to throw in the towel at a certain point it happens in the journey of becoming you know he said but no don't be tempted don't don't be distracted stay your course if you if you are a man or a woman of uh, are full of endurance you stay your course you are not distracted you don't even distract yourself you keep on keeping on because you know where you want to go you know what you want to do you know uh, the plans and purposes that you have laid and you're going to do it you're going to see through it you're not gonna let uh, the distractions around you stop you from achieving the things that you want to achieve and uh, finally he spoke about um, uh, enduring to the end you know uh, they said after you have done everything the most important thing is for you to be able to have the right standing with God whatever plans whatever purposes that you have that you might have that you might be enduring for it must be an enduring to the end to the um, um so that when everything is uh when it's all been said and done you have a right standing with god so the man is saying each and every person has the capacity to withstand don't be distracted don't be uh tempted to throw in don't be uh, uh thinking that because it didn't happen today because of the delay it's not gonna happen stay on keep on keeping on it is him that endureth that is able to achieve and a person that is able to uh, uh, endure whatever they're going through right now they are able to achieve whatever they would want they have set their minds their heart to achieve or they have been set to achieve in life so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for those ones that have already subscribed i love you so much see you next